How's it going everyone? It is Ethan on Encoder and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build Twitter. In this episode, we go ahead and hop back into our front end where we set up style components. That way we can start building out the register modal. We're continuing to work here on the front end. Last episode or last series of episodes, we kind of got these makeshift input boxes fixed. I did a little bit of planning and a little bit of review and I decided that I do want to go ahead and use style components because some of these are going to be a little bit um, complicated. So the first thing we need to go ahead and do is install those style components we'll go ahead and say npm i and we're going to say styled dash components we also need to install the types so i'm going to let this install then i'll get the types installed so npm i and then at types slash styled dash components and i'm sorry that my typing is terrible i try my best and what did I do wrong? Uh, oh, I forgot the D installed components. Let me fix that. Go ahead and get the types installed. We should be good to go. We can get rid of the bash. So get rid of the terminal. Something else that I wanted to do really quick is go into our source, our pages. And I don't want this to be called home page. I actually want to call this the landing page because it's not really the home page. So I'm gonna call this landing. I'm gonna import landing. And I'm going to rename this landing. Whoops. Rename this landing. And we need to go into our app and name this landing. Name this landing. Name this one landing. And we might need to rename that landing as well. All right, so everything, oh, I spelled this wrong. Everything should be good to go now. So now inside of our main app.tsx, we need to go ahead and import some global global uh, providers for our, whatever this is called, I can't think our style components. So I'm gonna say import and we need um, theme provider. And we need create global style. This is gonna come from style components like so. And then what we're going to go ahead and do, spell that correctly, we're going to go ahead and create a const theme. And this is going to equal to colors. And we're going to have several colors here. So our blue is going to be this color. Our black is going to be this color. All right, we're gonna have a dark gray, which would be this color. We have a whole spectrum of all the Twitter colors here. So I um, got these right off of the Twitter. Dark gray, whoops. Light gray. And this is going to be this color. We have our off-white. Again, I'm freestyling this slightly. But also, I do have a plan. A, we have our white. And we're also going to have one called air. And air is just going to be red. All right, and that's all we're gonna have for now. We're also gonna create a global style. So const global style is equal to create global style. And in here, we're just gonna have the font family. So we're gonna say star font dash family, and it's going to be IBM Plex. I'm hoping that I have this imported. I don't know why I wouldn't. And this will be um, sans serif. All right. And then we're also going to have our font weight or it's going to default that to 500. So that is our global and we need to go ahead and wrap all of this. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap the theme provider. And we're gonna give the theme equal to theme. Like so, we're gonna wrap the landing in there. Oops. And then we also need that global style as well. So we'll grab that. So we need our global 
style and voila so now we shouldn't see anything really changed uh maybe the text got changed slightly but everything else should be good to go so now what i want to go ahead and do next is go into our utils and make a global interfaces so i'm going to call this global interfaces dot uh ts i'm sure if i wanted to i can make an interface for each one of these but it's fine so we're going to have an interface called theme colors and inside this interface we're going to have the different colors so we're going to have blue which is going to be a string we're going to have black which is obviously a string we're going to have dark gray which is a string we're going to have gray which is a string whoops if i could type we're going to have light gray which is a string we're going to have off white and i missed one it looked like so we want light dark gray light gray well actually this should be gray and this should be light gray that's where i messed up uh so gray we have white which is a string then finally we have air which is a string so we're doing this that way we can import this and we need it for typescript stuff and save uh what is your problem interface cannot be compiled because it is considered a global script file that's fine we'll just ignore that export interface theme and then here we're going to have our colors equal to theme colors and save and what we can actually do is go ahead and say that this theme is colon um, theme from our global interfaces and now what we can do is we can kind of modify this global theme and we can import it other places and know that we can follow that this is also going to be useful for our props later you'll see and we're also going to go have and have a styled input prop so export interface styled input props so this will be for later we're going to have an active which is a boolean we're going to have valid which is also a boolean we are going to have a theme which is subtype theme which is why we just made that and finally we're going to have a color question mark which is a string and i don't remember exactly what that's for i'm kind of following along uh, because the front is a little bit finicky but that should be good to go so now let's go ahead and create a new input inside of our folder or our components folder so inside components i'm going to make a new folder and i'm going to call this valid validated inputs and inside of here i'm going to have a styled input dot txx so styled input.tsx so now we need to go ahead and import styled from styled components and we also need to import our styled props so go ahead and do that styled props from nope if i could styled input props from our util cool so now to actually create this we're going to go ahead and say export to const styled input box is equal to a styled dot div or back ticks again i'm not really trying to teach you all how to use style components i'm just going to create some so we're going to have position equal to relative we're going to have border radius equal to five pixels we're going to have our width equal to 100%. We're going to have our height equal to 56 pixels just because this is what Amazon uses. We're going to have height 56 because that's what Twitter uses. Then our border is going to be dependent on the props. We're going to say dollar sign like so. And we're going to have, whoops, if I could do it correctly. We're going to have props. This is going to go to a method and this is just going to kind of say console 
dot log for now and say um actually we can't console dot log we're just going to go ahead and say determine styled input border props so that is that and that is what we need for here so obviously this doesn't exist and we need to go ahead and create that i'm going to put it in the utils i guess we could probably could have put it inside of this validated input i suppose but it'll be fine so let's go ahead and make a new file inside of our utils i'm going to call this determine styles util.ts i forgot i've been wanting to get rid of those and we're going to go ahead and import our styled uh, input props like that from our global interfaces and we're going to export const uh, determine styled input border the idea is that we'll most likely have some more in here so we'll have styled input props and this is going to return a string like so so now obviously if we don't return anything it's going to air out but now we should save and now if we import um import our determine modal nope whoops determine styled input border and then we need to change the props over to um let's see what we're missing we have our styled input props we need to pass the props in here so we need styled input props and that will give us access to all the props and now we're actually good to go so what this is going to do is it's going to determine what border to put on because if you've ever actually tried to sign into twitter or sign up to Twitter. If you like start typing, you see there's a blue. Whenever you click off of it, it goes gray. If you delete, it says red, you know? So we want to kind of mimic this to the best of our abilities to have this outline and everything like that. So that's why we have this custom border. Unfortunately, that's gonna be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, please stick around for the next episode by hitting that subscribe button. You'll know exactly when it comes out, especially at that bell icon. If you did enjoy the content today, please sure leave a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, leave a thumbs down. Either way, it helps out with the algorithm all the same. And finally, if you have any suggestions or feedback for me, make sure you leave a comment down below. With that being said, I appreciate you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.